All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. Today is Monday. We are playing Mendoza Chase. You decided to go ahead and get classic with it. I called the. I think this is the third time Mendoza Chase has been on Daily Duel. It was on, then I took it off, and it was on, and then I took it off, and now it's back on. You guys voted for it. Uh, of course, they got a couple of new different plays that I haven't really even had the opportunity to try out uh, since, you know, taking them off and then returning back to Daily Duels, of course. Uh, one of them being, you know, Brilliant Fusion of the Pendulum Mechanic. I mean, there's a handful of things to me. Come on, with, you know, Ultimate Offering at first, it was kind of like, oh, 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 you know. I think I want to Veiler that. I'm thinking I want to Veiler that. Well, I think I'll Veiler that, because I don't want you to get Dark Ruffer, because now since I see that you're playing Infernity, I'd rather not allow you to, you know, send Dark Fiend and do all them plays. I'd rather not. <laughs> Because we already know. And uh, I opened up the Tiramisu right there, you know. Uh, this plus this. I uh, kind of drew way too many messenger lottos, but I guess we'll be okay. So, I'm playing the Brilliant F Fusion version. You know, Brilliant Fusion, go ahead and summon that Seth, get the additional summon. I mean, come on, with Ultimate Offering, you know, Mendoches love their additional summon. So, Brilliant Fusion with Seth, too, is pretty good as well. So, uh, as long as that card isn't something to completely mess me up, I should be, oh, never mind. I got hit with a Solemn Strike because... Of course, that card is still at three, so... <laughs> now, why is that card still at three? I have no fucking idea, but the consistency of it is too high. Anyway, uh, with that being said, uh, you're looking at the title. Yes, it is the it's a four-year anniversary of the channel. Uh, I, As of today, I literally started this channel, You Will Manage 3, on June 13th, 2012, four years later. Uh, right after my 18th birthday, I'm now 22, and uh, the channel is going strong, and I'm still here to go ahead and do great content. I wanted to do something big, something, you know, extraordinary for, uh, for the celebration of four years, but I've been so busy. Like, I've been extremely busy with... Um, with Yu-Gi-Oh! Tier Draft League, school work, and you know, all of that such, that it gets to the point where I was like, I wanna do something, but I don't have time. So I decided to do something small. We're doing a Q&A. Uh, I actually put up a video, it's not on the channel now, as you're trying to look, but I'm, I have the video up now on my phone, I'm gonna be going ahead and answering the questions that were asked me. I got a nice chunk of questions, enough to at least keep it all great and entertaining and as such. So, uh, my opponent's here, I uh, went ahead and pitched the arch fiend, and you know, you don't know the, the infernity shenanigans. So that one strike was enough to stop me. That one strike. That one strike, though. So, ah, uh, this should be fun. You know. And you guys are wondering, do you like infernities? No. Infernities are actually one of my most hated card, uh, hated cards, all, hated deck in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. This is a free question for you. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to go ahead and listen and answer all the questions. Uh... No particular order. Ooh, yes! June to another cat! That's exactly what I wanted. That's exactly what I freaking wanted. So it's a good thing I played that Maxi. I only got one draw. I only even that with Upstart, but hey, it's still good. So, uh, he'll pretty much be top decking at this point. He already sent his one Arch Fiend, so I pretty much just have to hope that he doesn't freaking draw into, like, Launcher or something, or, or I'm fucked, so, yeah. So summon you, summon you, activate you, go ahead and banish you, go ahead and summon- it really doesn't matter who I summon. I guess I should summon Messenger Lotto and go ahead and get my search, but uh, opening up a mess multiple Messenger Lotto is not the best of things. And you know what? I don't think that was the correct play to do. Because now I don't have any Messenger Lottos in my deck to then summon. You know what? Wait, wait. I'll do Brilliant Fusion. I got an idea. I got an idea. I'll do Brilliant Fusion. Thanks to Brilliant Fusion, I might be okay. We're going to go ahead, send the Gem Knight, of course, send Trick Clown, send some my Seth. Activate my Trick Clown, go ahead and summon that. Uh, probably... Am I running, like, Diamond Dire Wolf or something along those lines? I mean, it doesn't look like it. That kind of sucks, because I might have too many cards on my field. I want to XC these two, right? Then detach the Messenger Lotto. Then activate Chateau... I mean, my... Think my field spell, shuffle back my messenger lotto, then I can go ahead and go into, uh, no, because then I'll still be, oh, I get an additional normal summon with Seth, of course, so, uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and go into, like, well, Dweller wouldn't be terrible either. Oh, he's just gonna sweat. He's just gonna quit. No, no, he's just gonna quit. <laughs> you know, because I was gonna exceed these two into whatever, detach my messenger lotto, then activate my chateau chat, a chateau <laughs> 
But don't you should tell it's not fucking chat to chat. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh my god. Fucking. Oh my god. If you're kind of wondering what the fuck that came from, he's actually one of the members in the Yu Gi Oh! Tier Draft League. Yu Gi Oh! Tier Draft League is actually going really well. Uh, I got it, but again, people on Discord, we're starting to pick teams, starting to pick decks, so get that situated. Anyway, my opponent scoop, so I'm gonna shuffle this back, then, you know, I can go ahead and X these two into, like, it doesn't matter. Uh, probably, you know, X Saber, uh, Invoker, summon the one that I just shuffled back, back, then get an additional normal summon, then there's Tiramisu right there, is when, when I detach these two. Spend those two back and then go, so. Yep, so. He, he, he struck, he struck me. He hit me with that strike, and he got his place set up, I guess, but I don't, I didn't see where he's going. But Inferno's really been that kind of top deck, kind of deck, but with only one Archfiend, I mean, come on. Alright, let's get another duel, bear back. Alright, six minutes in this video, we have finally started this Q&A. So, starting it off, it says, uh, do you think USA will finally win Worlds this year? I'd be great. I mean, of course, I live in the USA, and I would love for them to win. I think the last time I remember them actually getting close was, um, I'll give a second. Oh, uh, this deck. Eh, yeah, this hand's okay. That's okay. If I can drop the max C and get a hoot cake or something, then we might be able to talk. No, that's fine. So, rabbit. Open it up with that rabbit. Yes, sir. So, go ahead and summon your two monsters. You want to see with them? I'll get two draws. I'll pretty much get a pot of greed. All right, evil swarm. I mean, come on. We are taking it. Wow, all the twin twisters. Okay. <laughs> So, of course, to go ahead and turn into Ophion, so I get another draw, so I pretty much turn do that into a pot of green. Oh, and you love it when you max the into, into effect veil, right? And I'll get to search, that's fine. So, turn one card into draw two, and it's great, it's great, because I knew you weren't going to leave your cards there. Of course not, so. Uh, I said I didn't open up too hot, so. Just draw into a hoot cake? Oh, I mean, yeah, that works too. They at least can get me set up. So, playing the pudding sets. I've never played pudding sets on Medoches before, so I'm probably going to fuck her up. But hopefully, I, I you know I use her correctly. So we're gonna go ahead and just twin twister. And when I use her correct, I mean pitch her to the graveyard because I can always you know get her back later. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Go ahead and get rid of that back row. I'm gonna fucking you up soon. Fucking you up soon. All right. Let's go ahead and shuffle that back. Doesn't that card have to be on the field to resolve its effect? Or no, no, it resolves the chain. It's off the chain. Now, if I interrupted his play, then he would have got fucked, you know? If he would have been, like, activate the the infection, use effect shuffle, and then I went hit with the back row, then he wouldn't have got it. But, yeah. That way, he does. Uh, we'll go ahead and summon. Go ahead and activate. Go ahead and grab me that hoot cake. I got the twin person to clear up any more back row, so as long as he doesn't gain me next turn, I should be able to do go off with the Medoche plays. Actually, you know what? Probably should have got in Jelly. Eh, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Uh... Like I said, if, if if they win worlds, that's great. I think I was I was there the world the time they almost won worlds in, back in uh, in uh, twenty thirteen with Dragon Runners. Uh, when I just like it's activated tribute to negate it. Well, I gotta get you off the fucking field, so I gotta get you off the fucking field so you can just go ahead and die. You you have to be gone because I'm going off next turn. You know, especially with my twin twisters. <coughs> I'm going off. You're getting this, Angeli boy. <laughs> yep. I got some hand traps in there. Go ahead and set some more back row for me, sir. Please. Please. Two more? Two more? I'm going to hit you with that twin twister again. He's going to be like, again? I'll be like, yeah. Well, I would like to keep everything here, so. I'll pitch you twin twister for a twin twister. Yeah, open up triple twin twister. What about it? You got a problem with that? You want to fight about it? <laughs> So yeah, uh, back in 2013 with Dragon Lures, we almost won Worlds USA. Uh, it's literally the finals, but no, it hasn't been that much close since. So I wouldn't mind if, if uh, USA wins Worlds. Sure, why not? Uh, what are your favorite Pokemon game? That's a tough one. That is really a tough one because I, I enjoy a lot of the Pokemon games. You know, each one of them has different things that I like and dislike. So to say which one's my real, my favorite, that's hard to say. I don't not not. I could definitely say not Gen One and not Gen Six. I could definitely say that. Uh, Gen 5? I only played half. I only played Black and White. I never played Black and White 2. I really, I, I enjoyed my time with, uh, with, um, with Diamond and Pearl. I can definitely say that. Ruby and Sapphire, I played the shit out of Ruby and Sapphire and Emerald through just hacks in general. So we'll go ahead and go into Invoker, summon another, uh, Madoche. Doesn't matter what I detach. Well, I guess, I guess it does. I'm gonna get my shit back anyway. Go ahead and summon you. 
Then we'll go ahead and activate this. Oh, I shuffled shit back. I shouldn't have done that. Oh my god, it's been such a long time since I played Mdoches that I'm fucking misplaying. I shouldn't activate that, because I, I, now I can't activate my Tiramisu effect. It's fine, I could still just run his ass over, but that was my bad. That was totally my bad, yeah, because I don't have Mdoche cards in the graveyard. Good job, Daniel, like, you're misplaying all- It's been such a long time, I'm so rusty with this deck. Like, it's been months since I've seen this deck, let alone played it, like... Holy crap, like, I'm doing, I'm doing Lunar Terrible. <laughs> you get to Jeff Wick Season 1 and you played this, and it's gonna, and Madoches are a deck in Season 2, so, uh, look forward to that. Uh, I mean, you're low on resources, and the funny thing is, I misplayed, just like the last duel, but I still might win. Like, I still might win. Go ahead and throw the deck at me, because I already know you have it. Like, go ahead. Rota, that's fine. That's fine. So you're gonna go summon, summon, and then I'll hit you with the warning, and then you'll literally have nothing, so. Well, I think I'll go ahead and wait for you to go ahead and do more major plays. Alright, get that back. And saving Volker would be very important. I don't think I can, though. You can only get that effect once per turn, right? The additional summon? I think so. So why did you keep this and summon the uh, heliotrope? Whatever. I think you can only get that, yeah, you can only get that additional summon effect once per turn. So, you can't go cast your summon when, because Kirkion is like, I already, I already gave you the additional normal summon. So go ahead and next see those two, and of course Utopia, Utopia the Lightning, and all that good shit. So I'm just going to hit him with the warning. That means that I get to keep my Invoker, so yay! Because <laughs> then I can go ahead and, you know, detect. Oh, so I guess... It, isn't like that. Okay. Uh, I thought it was like that. Apparently it's not. Apparently it's not. Because I thought only Kirkion already gave you the additional normal summon. So how do you get the additional normal summon with Kirkion? I guess I was wrong. So. So I guess I'll go ahead and activate my effect. Shuffle. Yeah. I'll just go ahead and turn those two. I was like, where's my cat? But I forgot I already fucking turned it, so I'll go ahead and return it to my hand instead. Sure. Go ahead and get that back. Get rid of you. And I really don't need the, the messenger lotto, but he might be useful. You know, it'd be easier if he just gets shuffled back, really. So I think I'll just go ahead and normal summon. What what do you do? What do you do? Choke on low, let me read you. I can slap you on a tiramisu, right? Once per turn you can target one Madoj card in your grave. I, I don't have any. Shuffle it back into the deck while putting it into as extreme material. I gain this effect. But I. This card has a pretty sad thing. I want a Madoche card, but I don't have a Presiding Senses in the XC material. So I guess I don't get that effect. Okay. So that's why you play Pudding Sets, so you can actually use uh, that Madoche a little more often. So I guess I'll just go ahead and summon Trick Clown. Like, fuck it. Just poke for damage. Alright, need to get to more questions, so I'd probably say it's either Gen 2, because I, I had a lot of fun with Crystal, or Gen 4 with Diamond, so it's one of those two. Uh, what band card would you like to see come back? Uh, Exiton, because I'm kind of tired of like the set five. I mean, the guys talk who fucking hit them, had opened up a triple twin twister. Like, twin twister should probably go down too. The triple twin twister, the is a little bit too high, you know, but uh, It'd be nice to just go ahead and bless on XE and wipe his shit. I mean, for goodness fucking sake, there's uh, uh, Solemn Strike at 3. So if Solemn Strike doesn't stay at 3, then I probably wouldn't mind that, you know, getting hit. Uh, I mean, I guess that's game. Like I said, I don't, I'm not running Diamond Dyer. I really don't have room. I could probably tweak some things in here and squeeze in a Diamond Dyer. So I can just go sell in XE, pop that, and tap, but... I guess from now I'll just go ahead and go to defense with my trick clown and then try to attack with Tiramisu for game. Is that game? Or, do you, or did you draw on something during the Phoenix Chain? Alright. That's fine, I guess. So you get one more. One more turn! And I think I'm okay for right now. Next turn I'll, I'll tap the game you. Depends on what you draw. But. Like, can you go Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh wow, that is, that is straight up. That is straight up. Just Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Ooh, wow. That top deck. Oh. That top deck. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. 
So you're gonna kill my trick column twice. That way, I don't get my effect and maybe main phase two go into like a castell or something. So you're just gonna kill me twice. I'm gonna just stay dead. No, fuck it. XC these two into like a castell. Ooh, that top deck was so good. So good. Like, draw into the Phoenix Chain to hold off my Tyrannus so I can't attack the game. And then draw a top deck into another Karakion. Like, alright. 101. Same thing. Same thing. So, I'm in a bind now. Because I keep on drawing into fucking Mess and Gelato, so that doesn't help. Like. Alright, well, that helps. Like, I can just go Huke, Banish, Summon. I have two. Summon Hat Trigger, XC into something like a Castell, and then spin you back and attack for game, so, yep, looks like I have this, because I, I am now the one who top deck, am doing the top decking, so, like I said, it really doesn't matter. So then summon you, special summon hat tricker, and go into castell, spin you away, and attack for game. Ah, ah, so, I need to get more into these questions, like I said, Exiton, Exiton. Uh, next question. What's your favorite deck of all time? My favorite deck of all time would probably have to be... Archetypal? Archetypal would probably have to be uh, uh, Constellers, because I played the shit out of that deck. Like, I, I tried to make that deck work for frickin' forever. I was like, fucking Pleiades is a frickin' composter and you play his turn, so good, man. So I, I worked on that deck a lot, a lot, before I ended up just being like, all right, I can't do this anymore. It's not good, and ended up just not, not playing anymore. So I'd probably say Constellers. Uh, and then I'll answer more questions in the next door. Oh, damn, I'm rusty. This small is holy crap. I need, I need to get better. Thank God I opened up so freaking well. Like, I might have fucking just ate a fat dick on that one. Holy crap. Alright, and what's my favorite format all the time? I'd probably say my favorite format is Duelist Alliance format because there was a lot of strong decks. You know, you had BA, Shadals, Necros, Cleave. Like, it was, it, was a, it was a lot of, you know, diversity to teller. So, I'd probably say that was my favorite, uh, Favorite format, yep. Uh, next question. What is your least favorite mechanic to your favorite mechanic? Uh, pendulum is my least favorite mechanic. I hate the pendulum mechanic. I think it's broken as fuck, so least favorite is pendulum. In order, I'd probably say pendulum, pendulum, ritual, fusion, synchro, XC. XC is my favorite. I, th I definitely think that, you know, especially one of my, fav my favorite deck being uh, Constellar is XC. Uh, and I think that's the pinnacle of, of, of fair, you know, it's like two of the same level, it's it's easy to do, it's simple, and, you know, you, why you still do take the neg like you should on, like, pendulum mechanic, where it's like, oh, well, you take the neg when you set up the pendulum scale, but there's still count more resources on the field, and you pendulum summon these monsters back, it's just like, I don't get how you turn the pendulum mechanic from, you know, like usual in Yu-Gi-Oh, where you take two things, there's two weaker monsters to create a stronger monster, I mean, I don't get how the pendulum mechanic really does that, uh, I think I, I like Xyz. I'd say Xyz is my favorite. <laughs> oh, what type of music do you listen to? Mostly Japanese and Korean music. I sometimes, I mean, you can't understand the word that they're fucking saying, but I still enjoy it nonetheless, right? <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and summon that messenger auto. So of course you open up the kitty cat and uh, and jelly, you get to go off. I mean, that's pretty much the the, the trump card in Madoche. It's just those two and you're going off, you're going ham. You, you are going, you are going to ham. <laughs> I guess I should go ahead and, and then I can recycle these two too because I can detach the cat and then with tiramisu I detach the jelly, get those two back to my hand and I got the combo right back again. So it's just it's just so good. It's just so good. And of course make a levier. Levier detach the kitty, summon back the angel, and my opponent quits because I, I opened up just so well. And you open up just two cards, you go off. Like Madache, so good, so good. Alright, get another door, bear back. Uh next question. Do I enjoy any rock? Uh I enjoy rock. I enjoy rock, you know. Like I said, I mostly listen to Korean or, or Japanese music, but I can't I can't say that there's never been like a Japanese song that's been a rock song that I've enjoyed, so yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, open up the two again, open up the two again. Mmm, it's a turn twister this time. It's a turn twister this time, and the trick the trick clown so I could pitch that and be enabler. Ooh, red eyes. Alright. So maybe some red eye shenanigans. I mean they did get their new uh inside card. I haven't reviewed it on Carvey yet, but I already know it's gonna be good. So so yeah, yeah, I could definitely say I like rock. I just say the only thing I, I don't like is like country. I don't I I do not like country music at all. So, yep. All right. Next, uh, why did you start playing this bleach in a water bottle 
<laughs> of a card game. Uh, really, I started playing it because it was just something to do with friends. You know? Uh, you can definitely have a lot of fun and enjoy your time with this game. And at first it became fr fun with friends, and then I was like, okay, well, how about uh, I... I really, it was Ubel. I was like, I was like, I like the idea that back in the day when Ubel came out, I was like, uh, do I want to summon Trick Clown? I mean, why not? Why not? Why not? I mean, it's not like it's going to get in my way or anything, so. So you have your two red eyes, that's cute and all, but I'm, like, literally, I'm going to spin that back. I kind of thought it was just going to be like a red eyes trap, but I wanted to make sure that I got this play off because, of course, this play is so freaking good. Like, it gets me hella pluses. Like, there's a reason why this deck went from tier 1 to tier 2 in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trajectory between season 1 and season 2. Because the plays are just so freaking good. I almost summoned the wrong fucking shit. I literally did. I, I, I almost summoned the wrong fucking shit. Who cake? Because you just open up those two cards and you go off. You're non-targeting, spinning, searching, summoning from deck, plussing like crazy. Like... Yeah, go ahead and grab me my chateau. Uh, I keep on wanting to say chateau chat. I'm touch your chateau. Go ahead and activate it. Like, chateau chat, if you're watching this video, you're probably like fucking shaking your head and you're like, damn, you fucking suck at playing my deck. And I'm like, yeah, I do. It's been such a long time. So go ahead and go into Levier. Activate Levier. Detach Cat. Went back and Jelly. Summon in Jelly. Then go for Tiramisu. Spin back. Uh, I don't think it's the OTK, but. It's it's strong. I, I don't think this is a game because I'm out of play. It's now, so go ahead and detach you. Turn you two. Of course, back to hand because I get them right back to hand for next turn. Right back to the hand for next turn. You two go away. It's not the LTK. It's not game. Yeah, yeah. If I had ticket, I would have won, but I don't. So because <laughs> ticket, you already know the card's strong too. All right. So really, uh, it's just Ubel being uh, the hipster. When things had strong attack, I was like, no, I have a good effect with zero attacks at Ubel, haha. -ha. And after that, I just started getting more and more Yu-Gi-Oh. Why is Twin Twister so broken? Because of that last duel, I opened up Twin Twister, and I opened up Twin Twister and have another Twin Twister. Twin Twister is too high consistency. The discarding can get you set up, and you pop two back row when your opponent least expects it, you know? While well, MST only popped one, this has the ability to pop two in one card, so yeah. And uh, who is the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh waifu? Like, is uh, like is that like a Yu-Gi-Oh card or a character? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not really into the Yu-Gi-Oh community girl scene. Like, you know, these people who think that Dark Magician girl is sexy as fuck, and I'm just like, okay. So, <laughs> all right. Next, what is your favorite band card? Uh, Lavalle Chain. <laughs> Should it come off band? No, but I, I you know. It, freaking new bell decks it helps so much like it helps so freaking much um are you turning that into your okay oh i say you can equip it to your trace i was say like make sure you always have something to equip it to god damn big old four thousand seven hundred motherfucker all right <laughs> oh shit motherfucker <laughs> yeah well, i got i got destroyed i got destroyed so I'll just, I guess, I, I won't go off next turn. I'll just summon Nelson Dotto, Exceeds Tune to Castell, spin you back, tack, tack, game. So, because you only have 35, that's, no, 38. So that's game. So, what was the next question? I kind of completely forgot. So, yeah. Yeah, the level chain. Because it, it's the level chain. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite video game console of all time? I probably have to say my... Oh, you quit. One more door, one more door. I'll get back to that question. Be right back. My favorite console, I probably have to say my three, uh, my Nintendo 3DS. That's because Monster Hunter. Uh, I love the game. I want Pokemon. And, and Smash. And there's a lot, there's a, there's, there's a lot of things on the, on the Nintendo 3DS that makes me like it. So, yeah, 3DS. Which favorite movie, John? No, probably comedy. Alright. Oh my god, so many questions. So many questions. Oh god, trains? Trains? I don't know if it be trains. <laughs> Open up with the combo, I open up with the two, and I got the ticket. It says, if he busts out, like, Dora right now, then I'm fucked. And it looks like he's about to, but maybe? No. No, no, I mean, yeah, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and summon his train. Yep. Yep. I, I don't even know how the hell I'm gonna beat this deck. Like, the fucking trains. Wow, and you went for this train? Really? Really? I thought you might want to go for your ruffian and detach and get the search, Dora. 
Yep, can't go wrong with a nice powerful door. I'll go ahead and increase your attacks. I'll go to a fucking 4,000 fucking beater. Like 4,000 tech, 4,000 D. God damn it. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to deal with that, right? So that's just so you can make your shit unaffected too. Like, mm 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 mm. Mm mm, mm mm mm. Like, how? How do I deal with Dora right now? <sighs> at least I opened up with this, so that's nice. And he didn't send any background. I can at least spin this freaking shit, but I tear him a suit. He'll just make himself unaffected. 4,000 beat. I can't get over that shit. Like, holy crap. Mm mm, mm 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 I guess I'll just do that play. I'll do as many plays as I can, but you already know trains. If you're wondering, trains aren't in Yu Gi Oh! 2 Draft League Season 2. Uh, 2 CJ only, so. All right, so many questions. So many questions. Oh, let's say you got something for me? You got like a Fake Veiler or Max C or something? No? All right. So if I like a Fake Veiler or Max C, then I just got like, oh, fuck me. But I'm still kind of like, oh, fuck me. But hopefully there's something. Oh, Dora's trying to wait for the response. Like, if you want to do Dora, do Dora, dude. Fuck it. I mean, the end result, I'm probably going to try to go after Tur you with Turmasu, so. Go ahead and pour some hoot cake. Uh, where do you think Sucker Mario going, is going with new generation duels? Uh, I kind of feel like cards that were cheap are going to shoot up in price because uh, you can play them in that format. Like, you know, while Trish is fairly expensive and it's at one, and you know, in the you know, five Ds you can play two, so you know that might increase the price a bit because it's like, hey, now you can run two Trishes. So I can I can definitely see that. Um, so yeah, just just. Cards that usually wouldn't be worth nothing because they're banned going up in price because of that. So, uh, what is your favorite card shown on Fake Card Friday? One monster for monster, one for spell, one for trap. One for monster would probably be that that uh, grave one that I made because it would get me more set up with Yvel decks. Um, my favorite spell would probably be that Gemini Circle because my Yvel decks. And the trap would probably have to be that Pendulum Punisher, whatever that trap card was. That counter trap, you pay half for life points to stop a Pendulum Summon or a Pendulum Monster, because I, I can actually see that card and actually be fairly powerful, so. Like I said, I might as well go ahead and summon everything in defense, because I'm going to get fucked by Dora. Like, I, I, I can't I can't logically think of how to get around Dora right now, so. That's great. And I fucked up. And I fucked up, because... Okay, you're gonna do Dora now, so that's all good. Uh, should have played my Medoche Chateau first, because now I'll end up shuffling back my uh, my things for Tiramisu, so. But then if I don't, then I won't go back to my hand, so. Let's go ahead and play Ticket. I keep on forgetting that you have to activate freaking Chateau Chat like immediately as you get it, because I don't want to shuffle my shit back in with its own effect. So it's unaffected by card effects. I can't pretty much I can't touch it. So there's no really no point in doing anything. So I'll go into Tiramisu and then at least get the search and then put the switch switchyard back. That wouldn't be terrible. It's just where am I going with this? You know. Like where am I going with this? Pretty much nowhere. So I'll go ahead and get my search. I already got you. So. I'll just go ahead and grab me another kitty cat. No. <laughs> like, I can't do anything to a fucking 4,000 door. Like, this, this is, like, one of the bad things about dueling against trains. It's fucking just Dora. Like, Dora is so goddamn powerful. Dora is so goddamn powerful. I plus. I plus like crazy. You know? I went from, what, six cards to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards? So, I, I plus. It's just Dora. 4,000 beater that makes itself unaffected by shit. Like, I pretty much have to rip the materials off of it. Yep. I completely forgot about this train. That's not a train that you see that often. So I pretty much have to make Dora use this effect twice. Three times. Twice. And then, you know, do that. Yep. Go ahead and summon your Night Express Knight right back. So as long as this background has nothing to stop me, I should be able to at least be able to get rid of, you know, these two. Still can't do anything to that fucking Dora, though. That motherfucking Dora. Actually, you can't get over my levy here, though. That's, oh, wow. Wow. You'll be half your original attack and then, so. Ah, and I got the two cards again! 
So I can run over this, so it'll probably be these two cards, as long as this card isn't anything to interrupt me. And if it is, then fuck me. Is that another strike? Is it a strike? <laughs> Cause I'm kinda of wondering why you summon this. I guess you want to summon it, then stop me from doing any plays to get rid of it, and then turn into attack mode next turn with uh with special schedule, so alright. Uh, if you both became an archetype, would you run them? Of course. Of course. What kind of question is that? I, you know, I would love to. I would love you, Bell, to have something. You know, it's always just me trying to splash you, Bell, in with uh, other things or uh, trying to uh, work on mostly super vice. So, of course, I would love that. I would love that. You know what would be great if I put in hope? If I put in like F zero, so I could like take one of his monsters with the two Leviers that I'll probably be end up making. I'll go ahead and banish you, go ahead and get me another mess with gelato, mess with gelato, get that search, like, go ahead and get me, uh, Madoche Palooza so I can jump him. <laughs> like, we, we might be able to survive, but I just don't see it, because, because <laughs> everything that he has, I mean, just Dora, I have to fucking speed up Dora twice, like, it's gonna be a very difficult thing to do. So I can get my place set up once again. Go ahead and have Dora use her effect. Uh, what do you think would be the next broken summoning mechanic after the Pendulum era? I really can't see past that, but you know, I say that for every era. Like, I really didn't see Pendulum after C, so I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what they can do. Oh man, I could have freaking went in, into uh, Dark Rebellion, cut you in half, gained that attack, and ran Dora over. But it's fine. It's fine. I'll tear him a Sue again. I can maybe possibly do that next turn. Say, now is it something to fuck me up? No, still no. Okay. All right, so go ahead and detach you. Uh, I think I'm out of tiramisu. I think I only run two, so it might be best to go ahead and put a tiramisu back, but I kind of would like these two back, just in case I want to do an additional play like that. Yeah, give me these two back. So it's been you and you, and then run over you. Oh, now it's strike? This entire time I've been doing plays, and now it's strike. God damn it, I'm, I'm getting sick and tired of strike at three. Like, holy crap. I am getting sick and tired of the high consistency of getting that card. Like, well, I pretty much lose. Like, I really needed that. Like, wow. Wow, fucking strike. God damn it. If I had a nickel for every time I got hit with selling strike, I'd have fucking a million dollars. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, would I rather play Cosmo and Full Power Pepe forever or five formats of Infernities with three archery, three barrier, three launcher, three treasure, and two chains? Infernities for freaking three formats, I mean five formats, because at least after that, it'll be over. <sighs> uh, next question. What place do you think the group could travel that you haven't been before yet? I mean, I haven't been to a lot of places. Uh, so, not anywhere really, just outside of Utah and what, California? Yeah, I think this is the only places I've been on a trip, so. Outside of that, pretty much anywhere, so. Uh, what's your favorite b boss card? Mmm. That's a tough one. I'd probably say Pleiades, because, you know, Constellar, so. Pleiades. And what is my least favorite boss card? That would probably have to be. Uh, Rafa, because I don't like how he works. So wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. So, you hit me with, so you prepare to, with Dora, and then hit me with Strike. Like, why, why, you knew you were gonna stop me, so why did you hit me with Strike? Like, whatever. Whatever. So, uh, go ahead and summon Magdalene. Magdalene, get a search. And if it's another strike, then just, you know, I'm just gonna kill myself now. Like, I can definitely promise you that. Uh... I said, if I, if I search you, I mean, there's really no point. I got the Hailer, you know. I think I should just search for another level 4. And then go for, like, uh, you know, like a... Rank 4 play, like, Dark Rebellion. Dark Rebellion cut you in half and attack over you. That wouldn't be terrible. Yeah, that's the best I can think of. We'll go ahead and activate Palooza, summon you two, go into Dark Rebellion with you two, 
which I have another tiramisu, I, should probably, I could probably put in three. But I thought I would need three because I could shuffle them back, but I was wrong, so. No surprise there, Daniel was wrong. No, unclick you, you and me. So I wouldn't mind getting you back in the hand. So, Dark Rebellion. I didn't cut you in half. And I'll probably attack over you because I don't want you to do any rank 10 plays like another Dora. Because you're just, you're just fucking 2,000 attack, 4,000 booty I can run you over. Unless you find some, some way. But then I could just, you know, possibly go into another uh, uh, rank 4 play as well. So I, I think, I, I think in getting rid of the Night Express Knight would be the best choice. Probably should have summoned you. Is this one is only an attack? And this card declares an attack. I thought it was when it was attacked too. He gets cut in half as well, but nope. <sighs> so I will go ahead and go off. I'll go ahead and get a search. I guess I'll go ahead and grab food cake. I'm still okay in this duel, so that's good. That's okay. So Grafla, because I just don't like how he works. He's like, summon Dark World, return Dark World, summon Grafla. Like, ew. Like, no. Uh, what are your top five anime or TV shows your choice to pick? which you would pick. Congrats on four years. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, of course, Common Rider. You guys already know that I'm a great, big old fan of the Common Rider. I love me some Common Rider. Oh, oh, nice top deck. So he's able to do that and then do that and then here comes another fucking Dora. God damn it. Well, maybe, maybe. He might go until I gun, because Dora's not strong enough to get over me. Oh wait, he could just detach and then pop me. God damn it. Ah, uh, just strikes and top. I thought, I thought he was going to go into his Sky Palace. Thought you were gonna do that. So go ahead and Sky Palace, detach your freight, which you're gonna pop me anyway, so I might as well go ahead and veiler you. That way you're gonna have to use your freight to destroy my Dark Rebellion anyway. I believe you still activate your effect, so you still can't attack, even though I, I affect that you. Car contact, if you activate the you did activate your effect, I just negated it, so. So so you can't attack. I'm like, no, no, no. You activated your attack. Brilliant Fusion. That's exactly what I need. I was kind of hoping that I would see Brilliant Fusion. Kind of hoping that I would see some Brilliant Fusion action up in here. So I can top deck too, man. I can top deck too. Trick Clown. Summon Trick Clown back. I can only use the effect of Trick Clown once per turn. Only once that turn. It kind of sucks. So I guess I can just go ahead and summon Trick Clown. Then go into like a castell and spin them away. Okay, yeah. So go ahead and go into castell. Sucks that I won't get these trick clowns back, but god, this duel is so back and forth. I kind of feel like he could have done better plays, but still, it's a fine duel. Go ahead and get rid of that for me. So you only have one set card left, like. Even if you top deck your field spell, you're still in some deep shit. So, Common Rider, uh, Erased. Um, uh, this is difficult because I've seen a lot of enemies. Oh, I Shield 21. Uh, uh, ah, this is difficult. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Is that four? And then I guess maybe a TV show that I like. Alright, Ruffian, that's fine. TV show that I like. What's a TV show that I like? What is a TV show that I really like? Oh, Adam Ruins Everything. I really like that show. Waiting for that season two, I think in like August. So, there we go. And I think that the last list of questions. Oh, now I get strike. So I believe if I summon Hoot Cake, use Hoot Cake effect, banish, summon, and then everybody attack that might be game. I want to say that I'll be game. This will be the last duel, definitely. We're like 40 minutes into this freaking video, so. I think this should be game. I'll we'll just go ahead and summon you. Everybody attack, and then it should be game. As long as all this all these attacks go through. So, and then one of the last list of questions. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, when and how did you meet Rennie? Oh, I met Rennie years ago. Uh, Rennie, how long, is, how long have I known you? Years, years. years. I, I, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd say, 
I'd say more than five. It's, I definitely say more than five. Uh, we met at a local card shop, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. So, <laughs> and then to that, uh, what's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh format since you, since you started chatting? I already answered that question. Uh, when you become a math teacher, oh, yay, won the duel. When you become a math teacher, do you think you'll be able to continue working on the channel? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely, you yeah. uh, And also, do you think you will continue? Also, if you think you'll continue, will you tell your students that you have a YouTube, Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTube channel? Yeah, probably. And uh, if the students are up for it, I would gladly be the advisor to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Club at the school, because, you know, I definitely spent a nice time uh, in middle school, staying after school, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Club at my middle school, so. I mean, I'll be a high school teacher, but I don't know, room to it, you know. There's no shame in me, of course, I'll probably be teaching freshmen and they'll probably want to be, you know, cool and not do an embarrassing thing that they feel that is embarrassing, like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! So, I mean, it's really up to them, but yeah, definitely, I don't, I don't care, you know? Or my students are going to make fun of me because I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, who cares? Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is good, it's awesome. A lot of critical thinking. I'd, I'd be happier if my students did critical thinking. Critical thinking, math, reading, I mean, definitely. Uh, and, uh... What is your favorite video that you did since you started the channel? I would definitely say the viral video for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Chip Draft League that got guest uploaded on a whole bunch of channels. It's because, it, I mean, it, I mean, something that I did actually went viral in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Tubing community, and I kind of feel like it was fairly decent quality, so, yeah. So, I believe that is uh, everyone's question, so. Uh, thank you for taking the time to ask me questions. Thank you for four years of just great content when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, of course, I'll be continuing. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Tour Draft League Season 2 is uh, gradually getting there. And like I said, I'm shooting for, if not the 2nd of July, definitely the 9th I'm shooting for. So, uh, look forward to that. And uh, yeah, just thank you guys for all the support for great years. And uh, we're going to keep going strong. So, uh, I apologize that I kind of misplayed a little bit with my doches, but still not bad. Like, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Hoot Cake plays. The Brilliant Fusion plays were okay. I'm going to say they were okay. Okay, they were decent. I might keep that in. Uh, I, I was thinking about maybe trying Pendulum Death Chase, maybe? Because that seems like it'd be powerful too. They set up your Pendulum Skills and Pendulum Summon. So we might try that next time. But, I mean, Majority is coming back after all this time. And the four-year anniversary and Nostalgia Chip. Like, definitely Majority has been a part of these, these four years. So, anyway, people. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow doing a deck profile for Silent Swordsman. And we are playing Silent Magician. I know, it's kind of switched off like that. So, uh, look forward to that. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.